If you think that waiting for interest rates to drop is the smartest move before buying a home, you could be making a very costly mistake. Right now, we are seeing 39% more inventory in the Fraser Valley than we had at this same time last year. And sales are 30% below the 10-year average. Now, that means more homes are on the market, fewer buyers are competing for them, and, well, a unique opportunity to find the ideal property at a price that you can negotiate. But here's the problem. If you're sitting back waiting for those interest rates to drop, you could be missing out on a huge advantage. Because when rates do eventually fall, it's not just you who's gonna be jumping back into the market everybody else will be too. And that means more competition, higher prices, and fewer choices. So before you decide to wait it out, stick with me because in this video, I'm gonna show you why right now might be your best chance to buy, how a variable rate mortgage can give you flexibility, and how you could save thousands by acting before the market heats up again. Trust me, you do not want to miss this one. All right, let's get started with the current market conditions. Again, right now, we are in a buyer's market. Plain and simple, there's lots of inventory, more than usual, in fact, 39% more homes are sitting on the market in the Fraser Valley compared to this same time last year. That's more options for you to choose from and it means sellers are much more open to negotiating. With sales down 10% compared to this time last year, buyers like you, well, they have more leverage. So think about it for a minute. With fewer buyers out there competing with you, sellers are more likely to accept offers below their asking price. They're not just looking for the top dollar right now, they're looking for any good offer to help them move on. And this isn't just about price either, this is about getting the home that you want. And with more listings on the market, well, you can be a lot more pickier. Want a bigger backyard, maybe a quieter neighborhood? You now have the power to choose because there's less pressure from other buyers. But what happens if you wait? Well, we're gonna get into that in just one second. But first though, real quick, if you're new to this channel, my name is Glenn Hopkins, and I create videos all about Canadian real estate and my local market of Surrey and the Fraser Valley, BC. So if that is something you're interested in, please be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. That way you're not gonna miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Also, if you'd like my help with either buying or selling a home, there is a link in the description box below where you can schedule a call with me. Okay, let's talk about what happens when interest rates drop, okay? A lot of people, they believe that this is when they're gonna get the best deal. But here's the catch. When interest rates do come down, more buyers are gonna rush back into the market. And as you know, that means you're gonna have more competition. So think about it like this. You know, today we have a very wide selection of homes that you can choose from. And you can take your time in negotiating the best possible price for you, the one that works for you. But if you wait until the, the rates drop, you could very well find yourself in a bidding war. And of course, that can drive the home prices up and completely eliminate all of your chances to negotiate. It's also important to note that historically, when interest rates go down, home prices, they tend to go up. This is just basic supply and demand. Uh, you know, the more buyers and fewer available homes, it means that sellers can ask for more. So by waiting, you could actually end up paying a higher price for the same property. And that means any savings that you thought you would have gained from lower interest rates could be eaten up in a higher purchase price. So let me ask you this, would you rather buy right now while you have the upper hand in the negotiations and let's face it, a whole lot more homes to choose from, or would you prefer to wait until you are competing possibly in a multiple offer situation and possibly paying more than what you had originally planned? Go ahead, drop me your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are on this. And by the way, I do know what you're thinking right now. You're probably saying, but Glenn, I don't wanna lock in at a high rate right now. And you know, you're right, locking in at a fixed rate, a high fixed rate might not be ideal, but there is a solution here that a lot of folks are overlooking, and that is a variable rate mortgage. So, you know, why consider a variable rate in a high interest environment? 
Well, unlike the fixed rate mortgage, a variable rate adjusts over time with the market, which means as the Bank of Canada drops its rates, your mortgage rates are also going to drop with it. And this flexibility can be incredibly valuable, especially when we are currently seeing so many clear signs that rates will likely decrease in the near future. And by the way, here's an important point to keep in mind. Um, if you decide to break your mortgage or switch to a fixed rate later down the road, variable rate mortgages, they generally have lower penalties. So it's kind of like when you book a flight, uh, if you're booking a flight early with flexibility to change your plans if those prices go down. So if rates drop, your monthly payments could decrease as well, which would give you more breathing room in your budget. And let's not forget that with a variable rate mortgage, you can take advantage of prepayment options. So as rates drop and your payments are going to decrease, you can actually keep your payments the same and put that extra money directly towards your principal. So this means that you could pay off your mortgage faster, saving you thousands of dollars of interest over the life of your loan. And by the way, if you're unsure of which mortgage option is right for you, whether you know it's fixed, uh, variable, or something in between, let me know and I can connect you with a, a trusted mortgage broker who can walk you through all of the pros and cons tailored to your specific needs. Um, their job is to make sure that you fully understand your best options for your specific specific situation so that you can make an informed decision without any surprises. Okay, so I'm about to reveal the most crucial reason why right now could be the right time for you to buy in just one second. But before I do, I just want to mention that one of the biggest reasons people lean towards fixed rate mortgages is for the security that it provides. You know, that is, you know exactly what your payments are going to be and that predictability, it feels safe, right? But what if I told you that security could come at a high price? Choosing a fixed rate mortgage now, it's going to mean that you're locked in at today's higher rates for the entire term of your mortgage. And if rates do drop, you're going to be stuck with that higher payment unless you break your mortgage, which could cost you thousands in penalties. It's kind of like booking a, a non-refundable trip and then watching the prices drop after you've already paid. That's frustrating, isn't it? On the flip side, a variable rate, it offers flexibility. So you can adjust your strategy as the rates change. So if rates do drop significantly, you can ride that wave all the way down. And if they do drop to a point where you're comfortable locking in, you now have that option to convert to a fixed rate mortgage without a massive penalty. So the question is, which is going to be more valuable to you specifically? Is it going to be flexibility or security? Okay, now here is the final piece of the puzzle. You know, when you buy a home right now with a variable rate mortgage, you have the option to lock in to a fixed rate later when those rates finally drop to a level that you are comfortable with. Now, this strategy, it's going to allow you to take advantage of the current market conditions without being stuck at today's higher rates forever. Think about it this way. Today, the home that you want, it is available, okay? And you have the negotiating power. If you want to wait until interest rates drop, you might be left with a lot fewer options or find yourself competing in a more aggressive market. By buying now, you secure the home that you want at a potentially lower price and you have the flexibility to adapt your mortgage as rates change. So if you're waiting for interest rates to drop before buying a home, you might just be making a mistake that costs you more in the long run. We're talking about higher home prices, more competition and missed opportunities. So instead, consider a variable rate mortgage, get into that home that you want right now now and keep your options open for the future. But here's the thing, what if there was a way that you could save even more on your mortgage regardless of what rates actually do? Well, in this next video, I'm going to share with you a little known strategy that could shave years off your mortgage and save you thousands even in today's market.